All right, thank you, Catherine. It's that time of the month again. Miss Sue's joining us in studio this morning to talk about October events happening at the Southeast Stu Bend County Library. What a wonderful Sunday morning. And yeah, we made it through September. Everybody's in their back to school, back to school schedules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, October, we are ramped up and ready to go with the library. All right, so <laughs> let's get started. It looks like we have some crafts, fun things. I mean, oh, we, we always do. have fun things to do at the library. Always. <laughs> so um, let's start with the pumpkin. So, yes. We are doing some book character um, pumpkin decorating towards the end of the month. Um, registration for that will open next Monday, not tomorrow, but next Monday. Um, this Friday, we are doing a tween after hours where the Ooh. tweens will come in and they'll make these really cool cemeteriums. Um, and then after the library closes, we will watch Hocus Pocus. Um, so registration for that is open now. Um, tomorrow registration opens for oh Van Gogh's Starry Night, but their own twist, Spooky, spooky night. Starry Night. <laughs> um, yeah, so registration for this one opens tomorrow. Um, tomorrow also registration opens for some Halloween cookie decorating and an after hours movie we're going to watch monster family um so that like i said the registration opens tomorrow now are there uh age groups at least for the movie for the pumpkin or is that pretty much for most kids uh most kids um because they're going to have their families there anyway this one the um cemeteriums the tween after hours is recommended for 9 to 12. Yeah. um so yeah just that little bit of independence away from parents and grandparents but in a safe environment, so yeah. Of course, yeah. and uh, some upcoming programs. Obviously, you have some flyers here. Let's of talk course, about it. so everybody's got Columbus Day off or Indigenous People Day. Um, so we're having the Science and Discovery Center come in and do balloon cars with us. That will be fun. Um, and no registration required for that one. You just pop in at the library at 11 o'clock on Columbus Day and make a balloon car. Um, and as well as public school, but our homeschool group has also started back up again. We've done some really great programs so far, but um, upcoming we've got some local election education. They're gonna actually meet some local elected officials and find out what it takes to become an elected official and what those officials do once they get elected. So that will be fun. And we've also got um, fire safety coming up with our homeschool group, so. Yeah, and all of this sounds obviously really important, especially mm -hmm. the fire safety with it being winter and mm -hmm. you know everyone's starting up their heaters That's and whatnot right. again. And October is fire safety month. Of course. <laughs> and with the STEM thing, that sounds like a lot of fun too. How they just, I mean, you know, they do these things in school, but then that they get true. to come to the library, they get to see you. It's mm -hmm. a little bit different and it's fun. And making a balloon car, a car out of a balloon and other things around the house that yeah. is going to be so much and fun. i get to race other kids you know sure and <laughs> and try to come out are there any prizes there are no prizes oh, just right. the fun just for fun this time and, and to maybe learn something yes okay. yeah there'll be a little bit of learning there okay all right well i think that'll do it for us for the month of thank october you. we'll be sure to post a web article and this interview uh once we're done yeah so, thanks hope so much to see you at the library and good luck to all the runners this morning sounds great thank you so much <laughs> thank you all right.